Right, so I wanted to go ahead and do a little, will probably be quite long, <laughs> it'll probably, it'll probably be very long now that I said do a little, uh, I wanted to go ahead and do, um, showcase videos on every character in Disney Speedstorm as and when I get them. I've already got quite a few. I've already got like most of the roster. As you can see only... Yeah, I've got over half of the roster. So I was thinking of characters to start off with and obviously You've got to open up with the main man, the Mus the Miska, the Muska, or the Miska, the Muska himself. And yeah, there's there's a reason why why Mickey is only is only level nine, and we'll we'll see in a minute. He's not bad. I'll say I'll say that straight away. We'll see how long it takes for us to get to get into a race. We're gonna do a race to start off with and then I'll explain more about the characters kits and everything and I wasn't expecting when I when I found out what this game was I wasn't expecting characters to actually have like kits and to have like stuff for the game to be as deep as it is and arguably deeper than Mario Kart some may say. I don't think it. Uh, I don't think a kart racer can be necessarily too deep, but there are. There are like RPG elements. Also, this best truck in the game. Also, yeah, I'm... Some of the unique abilities do confuse me on what they actually do. It's like, as far as I'm aware, there's no real... like team aspect or there's no there's no game mode with a team aspect in it but some of some of the unique abilities give buffs to everyone or characters that are following you or just spawn boost things all across the arena. Like for example, Baloo's unique ability. Will just spawn fruit that will boost just everyone. Yeah, Mickey isn't isn't terrible. It's just difficult to know or difficult to justify putting any resources into him. 
especially speedster resources when when Mike exists Alright, that's the wrong one. This is what I mean. Activate a musical speed boost for a very short period of time, leaving a trail that speeds up that speeds up right uh, speeds up racers who touch it. I don't understand how that's how that's helpful. Cause it Yeah, it speeds up people behind you. How... How is that... How is that helpful? Here's what, uh, here's what it does when it's charged. Become invulnerable and activate a musical speed boost for a very short period of time. Leave a trail that speeds up racers who touch it, making them invulnerable too. So how then is that useful? Because yeah, it speeds you up, but it also speeds everyone else up as well. So yeah, I don't... I don't see unless if there's if there's some kind of game mode later on that allow, uh, that is like team based or like you're going to have like a partner with you <clears throat> even co-op you want to win solo So, uh, I think there will be something later on that, that will justify that helping other characters as well, not just yourself. I will actually make it... Uh, I'm not playing well. I'm actually doing terribly. But I do think there's something coming. That will... That will make characters like Mickey useful. And will give him a place. But also, we have no idea what Steamboat Mickey's going to bring. Like, what's his unique ability going to be able to do? Yeah, this isn't going well.
Yep, not a good, not a good run. But I think that's more a level thing, as opposed to. Oh, that Mulan was level seven. Also, I did crash into a wall, which isn't the best showcase. It's a more showcase of my lack of skill than a showcase of Mickey as a character. We are getting a lot of bots, though. I'm just not doing well. And unlike a lot of characters, Mickey isn't... Mickey can't really... make up for... a lack of knowing what to do. I would like to see how how Mickey works at higher star levels. But like actually putting levels into him at the moment. There's a there's a better character in Mickey and Friends, which I'll talk about in the next video. And there's a better speedster than him, so there's no justification to putting any kind of resources into him when other characters that need his resources are better. Unless you're like the biggest Mickey Mouse fan. I mean, second is not bad. I think we'll do one more race and we'll try and get first. It's only when you do multiplayer stuff that you realise how bad you actually are at games. I can level up though. I mean, I just said, I just said that I don't want to use resources, but we are doing terribly. I mean, combat doesn't help anyone. Certainly not me. But yeah, as you can see from his stats, he's not amazing. Stats-wise, his top speed isn't great, but then again, it's not top speed that you're really looking for. It's acceleration. So you've got some characters like Sully and Beast who have super high top speed.
but their acceleration, their boost, and their handling is really poor. Like, I probably won't be doing a video on him for a while, but Figment... Figment is really difficult to play. I do wish there was more personality with this, with the actual, um, carts themselves. Just having them just like look like generic cars. I mean, the Mickey and Friends one does look kind of like Herbie, kind of, but the other one's just very generic, and plus they're shared, the cars are shared between their, their different, like, factions, it's like Mickey's car and Donald and Goofy's car is the same car, they just get different, like, spoilers and stuff. I do like hearing Mickey get angry though. It's not something we get a lot of. But Mickey is the first character that you get. So I'm not... I've got nothing against him not being super amazing. But I'd love it. I'd love if he was better. Cuz usually in these in these kind of games, Mickey is pretty amazing. He's like pretty top tier. I'd like to get a win before the before the video's finished. He's usually, like, right at the top. But there are characters that do a lot more flashier things. And I think I think every character kind of is flashier than Mickey. It's just whether the flashiness is actually useful. Mickey still is very quick. And very... Um... like, fun to play. I think he's got a good loadout of abilities. And his his unique does give you a speed boost as well, which there are some that don't. And those ones, I think, are the worst in the game. I think this is the one game mode where spending money might help. But also, 
that's not really an option at the moment. Because there is no shot that you use real life currency in at the moment. Which is a very good thing. neck and neck between me and Elizabeth Swan. What she really needs to do is uh, though is get a unique, and then I think I think I've lost it if she gets a unique, or I can just be way off in front. Ow. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah, I, I, I could just fuck it on my own volition. That also works. But yeah, because it was level 14. There was no way I was doing that. I'll do one more for the video. I am kind of, kind of annoyed with all these bots. Like, there should be at least some more people in the lower tiers. At least we're getting someone, though. But yeah, these videos on these videos are kind of the only time I ever do ranked multiplayer. Most of the time I'm doing the single player stuff, which is the most fun for me just because this kind of reaffirms I'm not that good at this game. But also then again, if I was playing as Mike Wazowski, it would kind of be a different story. But also, look at how far in front I am. Jesus. Maybe Mickey is kind of kind of good. Maybe he is kind of cracked.
I mean, that was that was by far my best run today. I'm just waiting for anyone else to cross the finish line. A full 12 seconds. See what I mean? That Sully was level 15. It was 14 seconds behind me. Oh, there's still people going. Oh, Jesus. They must have had really bad runs. Coins. Four Mickey Mouse tokens. How many more to rank up? Mickey Mouse, at your service. 22 out of 35. Okay, quite a lot more to rank up then. Um, there is a limited event for Mickey at the moment, but it, it's like one shard a day. So like, yeah, that's fine. It'll take like 30, it'll take like a month to get a star for for Mickey. And it's like no character is worth that grinding. Even Mickey, even Mike Wazowski, who is the best character in the game, is not worth taking 30 something days to grind for. That, that sucks. But anyways, that will be it for today's video. Mickey Mouse is okay. He is the definition of an all-rounder. And he is also the definition of the first character that you get. They're never usually amazing. But they're never usually god-awful either. Because the game wants you to keep progressing. So they're going to give you a middle-of-the-road character. And Mickey is 100% middle of the road there are characters that are far worse there are also other characters that in both classes that he's in the mickey and friends class and the speedster class there are there are other characters that are far better than he is and that do better things so you're better off putting your resources you're making friends resources like your alarm clocks and that into other characters and you're better off Giving, putting your speedster, uh, speedster things into other characters as well. Like, I don't want to say Mickey needs a buff, because I think he's fine. I think there is a game mode on the horizon that will make him good, because there's got to be a reason why so, why some characters have uniques that buff more than just themselves there's got to be like a team game mode coming up at some point i don't know how that would work or where where that would go what that would do what it would be but there's got to be something like that coming up on the horizon so there's got to be a reason why there's probably going to be a place for mickey and a place for baloo eventually but for the moment, Mickey Mouse doesn't really do anything that spectacular. He's, he's just kind of... He's just kind of okay. He's, he's less of a prince, more, more of a pauper. At this stage. And and I, I wish he was I kinda wish he was better. To be honest. I wish I wish he had he had something on his I wish his kit was better suited and made sense for who he is. I mean it kind of does, but it, it doesn't it's not really catered towards
He just, he's not really catered towards anything, and making him the ultimate middle-of-the-road character kind of puts him at a detriment more than anything. So, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Mickey Mouse, and let me know in the comments below who your current main character, your current favourite character is in Disney Speedstorm. I will get to them eventually, but we're starting off with the 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 main man, Mickey Mouse, at the moment. And I think in the next video, we're going to be talking about Donald Duck, who is the better choice to go with for Mickey and Friends, to put your Mickey and Friends uh, stuff into. So, yeah, we're going to talk about Donald in the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Peace.